Seriously? We brought to you viral TikTok mini brands. To unboxing all of these. And then we did Shopkins Real Littles. And now I bring to you Shopkins Real Littles that melt in water. Yes, you heard me. It melts in water. Hey Greens, I am super hyper giga mega ultra excited! Did you see it go from here to here? That's my level of excitement. It's either nothing or everything. Go big or go home! When I saw these at the store, I was super like weirded out at first because this bag is supposed to melt in water and then you get your little surprises. For those of you who don't know, I've done two other videos on miniature food brands. The first one being mini brands from Zuru. And they had so many cool brands but some of them I didn't know as a Canadian, but most of you Amerigrains knew exactly what they were. Next, I did Shopkins Real Little. And again, they were known brands, but this time I feel like I knew them a lot more. And to be honest, I preferred the Shopkins Real Littles versus the mini brands simply because you can open the containers, which makes it really cool. So as you can see, the real littles that I have here are called the freezer edition. And even the box looks really cool because you can open it like an ice cream freezer thingamajig. And the thing that really caught my attention when I saw this at the store is dunk, swish, and melt. Nowhere on the box itself do we actually see what the melting process looks like. So I'm a little worried on what it's going to be or if it's even gonna work or if it's just a big fat Lot. These were the only ones that I saw left and they were there at the store for like a month. Nobody bought them. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get the whole box. Should you get the whole box? I think I will get the whole box. But as you can see, there are two, two missing. So we're pretty much a whole box minus two. What are you gonna do about it? For those of you who have two, good job, you got it. Now they're all mine. <laughs> In case you grains were wondering, each one cost me $5.97. And in this box, we have 22 of them, which means this entire thing was about $132 because there's tax. Wait, wait, tax. Let's calculate tax. Which I say comes up to $151. That's quite pricey. So let's go ahead and unbox these together and find out which brands we have. If any of them that you've never seen before does pop up, let me know in the comment section below which one is the first time ever for you to have seen. My sentence structure was completely off this time, but it's okay. English will work with me today. All right, since it melts in water, you know, you know what we need. We have a little bit of water here. I'm using a plastic container just because I don't know how it's going to interact with my own dishes. So that's what we're doing. By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a shot pointy thing at you. Unless you like it, then I will wave two of them. And while you're there, make sure you click all notifications. All right, so if we see again the front of the box, dunk, swish, and melt. Let's do our first one. Why am I nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous, I don't know why. Okay, here we go. In the water, dunking. Oh, I'm making a mess. Swishing. How does it, what is, oh, oh, you can see that it's starting to melt. It's feeling gross. I think I should have gotten maybe a, oh, there you go. Look at that. You can see that it is melting, but I don't know if the bag is melting. This is taking way longer than I expected. Oh, so it's not the bag that's melting. It's the box on the outside. I get it, I get it. And if you look more closely, you're going to see that it's quite residual in there, which means that for all of these, I'm gonna need a bigger container. All right, so we're gonna be using this big one here. All right, so we went from this to this. So as you can see, the box really did melt very quickly. And, oh, that's gross. Oh, they're already wrapped. This is gonna be the messiest unboxing ever. My hands are wet and they're gross. So the first thing we get is this popsicle here. For some reason, every time I see these three colored popsicles, they remind me of when I was a little green on the beach and there was always this popsicle person passing to sell them. And I was like, can I have popsicles to my parents? And they would say, no, they're overpriced. So did my parents buy me popsicles at the beach? No, am I salty about it? Maybe back then, but I understand. The detailing on the box is still really cute. They don't really put any kind of words like mini brands and that's where I liked mini brands because even the words on the actual packages were true to the packages. Whereas these ones here, they give us the idea that information is there, but all we get is pretty much the images. 
And our little one is super cute. I feel like I got this one before, but it's been a while. And again, I really love these little Shopkins because they're adorable. And you have a storage container. Since I did open these in the past, the goal today is to hopefully be able to get a, where to go, one of the limited edition, which seems to be the frozen version of one of these. I would also like the fried chicken and maybe any of these waffles over here. For those of you who do remember, I did say I was going to do a live stream testing out Klondike bars because I've never eaten Klondike ice cream, but it's hard to go out now and go through different stores. So you'll have to bear with me once all this quarantine is better, then I'll be able to hunt down all the different flavors. I promise I will do it. Just be patient with me. Next. We have a spicy black bean burger. Again, I love this because the box looks like a bag, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, why are these so cute? I know I got a black bean before, but I still think they are absolutely adorable and um, it's making me crave a black bean burger. Next, we have the Good Humor Ice Cream Cones. This is probably one of my favorite ice cream cones, especially if it has caramel in the center. Oh my God, that is my hot if there's caramel in there. The shading at the bottom of the box looks really cool because it does look like a flap that you can open. And again, we don't get any kind of text for details, just the big one on top here. And now the inside. Oh, that look delicious. That looks really cute. By the way, one of the limited editions that we can get would be from this box. So hopefully we'll keep an eye out for that. Marie Calendar's Choco Pie. I have not tried these before. So if you have, let me know if they're any, if, if they're any good. Oh, so cute, so cute. So we get some chocolate sprinkles, some whipped cream dollops. And again, the texturing on these toys is so cute. For those of you wondering what the texture is like, it is not a hard toy. Look how flexible it is. It's pretty flexible. And even the dollops, you can push them down. Now we have the Briar's Natural Strawberry. I think if I had to choose a, what's it, ice cream, ice cream flavor. Strawberry is really high up my list. Next is probably vanilla or caramel. Mm. And then Super Kids, which looks like this, which kind of tastes like strawberry, banana, and then there's blue because is blue. Let me know if you've had this ice cream before. I'm really curious. And what is it called in your country? Is it Briar's or Briar's? Oh, they make them gluten-free. I didn't know that. Good to know. Oh no! I love all these little scoops. A little strawberry. By the way, for those of you who want to say, But Jakey, some of these things you got in double. I don't know. I don't remember. I promise you, I have the memory of a Dory. I may or may not remember. All I know is, it's still stinking cute. Absolutely stinking adorable. And stop it. You have better things to do. <laughs> And within the same set, we have a birthday cake. I don't know what the craze is with birthday cake. I've had birthday cake flavored things. It just tastes like frosting. Then again, Sika would probably disagree with me. I'm sure she's looking at me from somewhere far away, being very judgmental right now. I do have to admit, however, this looks really delicious. Some things can look delicious, but they're not necessarily delicious. They just look it. And... Oh, 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 that is so cute. And the stick is really flexible. What is this fluff on my finger? So the texture on this specific toy and the little bites, is that caramel? I want caramel ice cream now. That is really cute. I would definitely try this if I ever did see it at a grocery store. You are one of my favorites right now. Ooh, this is exciting because this is one of the ones that we can get a limited edition from. Since you see, this is the choco waffle. But again, the choco waffle can come in the icy, maybe frost bit version. Or is that an icicle version? You would hope it's frost bit because that would be cooler. 
thick and fluffy. I've never had Eggos anything other than the natural flavor, well, regular flavor. I think the last time I had Eggos was, uh, I wanna say when I was a teenager. All right, please let it, oh, it looks dark. And no. Dear Choco Waffle, why must you disappoint me and break my heart? Why you gotta break my heart and not be limited edition? Wow! In all seriousness, it's actually pretty cute. I love the little dollop of cream, whipped cream, and the detail of there being chocolate sprinkles right on top is just beautiful. And the whole thing is a very kind of squishy type material. You're not limited edition, but you're cute. Another Briars. I'm gonna call it Briars. If I'm saying it wrong, and those of you who wanna say, But JK, you're saying it wrong. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> this one is a Neapolitan? Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Oh my god. This one, I do remember that I do have it from the previous unboxing, so it is really cute. I love the fact that we have the vanilla flower, we have a little piece of strawberry, and I'm slightly disappointed we don't get a tiny piece of chocolate on there just to kind of complete it. But otherwise, it is one of my favorites. Super bendy. There is no spoon, Neo. You saw nothing! This next one is the Popsicle brand with natural the, the flavors. I think out of all of these, I would definitely eat the orange and grape, but for some reason, I really don't like cherry flavor. Let me know in the comment section below which flavor of these three would you least eat or least like them. Wow, what's wrong with my English? I always think of cherry kind of tasting like medicine. And which one is that? That grape? I think it's grape. Oh look, the stick is even transparent on the inside. Translucent. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's just me. The stick doesn't actually go all the way in. It's just, it's an illusion. It just stops right here. Look at that. And look at this. It's all very gummy-y. Nothing special about this one, but yeah, I really like the fact that it's translucent in the background. And the fact that the box has little advertisements is just extra bonus. I love that. Ooh, get advertisement for other kinds. Rainbows. I love rainbows. I wonder if these rainbows actually have flavor or if they're just colorant. Cookies and cream briars. <gasps> it has a little cookie on top. I am upset right now because this is stinking cute. Again. Yeah, that is adorable. I love the fact that there's a tiny Oreo looking chocolate cookie right on top and it's giving us a little wink like that. I don't know what it is, but it's something that. Oh, Vietnam. Hello. I'm gonna take this time to say hello to my grains in Vietnam. So yeah, this as simple as it is, it's probably also a favorite. And if we explore the box, it just has Breyer's cookies and cream on both sides. Dang it. Dang it. No. Yeah. It seems like Shopkins really loves their Breyer's. This one is cherry vanilla. And just to be clear, I really do like cherries, but not cherry flavored. Am I weird? Probably. And yeah, she's cute. I do have her already, but she okay. Not my type, but she okay. And here's one of our first doubles. I'm really curious if on the inside we get anything different than the, uh, the grape one, or will we end up getting cherry or orange? And the answer is, it's all the same. Look at me, little grape. You have disappointed me. Okay, maybe you didn't. You're cute still, but you're still, you're still on the fence. Is this even possible? Dang it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> yeah! Our second choco pie, well, this one is a Marie Callender's pie, so we have our second one. The first one was a chocolate one, which has the potential of being a limited edition, but we don't get that right now. And this one is peanut butter cream pie. I've never had a peanut butter pie before. Let me know if you have, because that's new to me. 
And here it is! Still looking absolutely adorable, similar, but now we have a dollop of cream right in front. Is this gonna come off? Oh, it could if you wanted to. And I love how the crumbs can also double up as absolutely adorable freckles. And again, we get little chocolatey sprinkles over here. Texturing is cute. Breyer's New York style cheesecake. I've had New York style cheesecake before and it is absolutely delicious. Very, very decadent. For those of you who don't know, there's a huge difference between New York style cheesecake and Japanese style and just regular cheesecake. I'll leave pictures on the screen for all, the, all of you who are probably salivating right now. And ooh, three layers of ice cream. I don't remember if I have this. I feel like I may have, but I don't care because this is cute. And it is considered a rare. Oh my god, you are cute. Look at you with your teeny beanie eyes. So cute. We get another spicy black bean burger, so we already know what this one is. And then another flavor of ice cream. This one is choco mint. I love choco mint with my soul. My dog soul. <laughs> Both sides of the box are pretty much similar. Oh, oh, that is cute. I really love, oh, hello Vietnam again. I really love the fact that this one is on the scoop. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the face on that one. Not sure why. I feel like they could have done a cuter face. But I love the mint leaves over here. Look at my scoop, it's not gonna fall. Whee! Er, me good! I love this one. Kid Cuisine. I had this one in a previous unboxing, and it's the most adorable ever. So if you haven't seen it, I hope you're ready for it. By the way, this is not a nutritious meal at all. It's just carbs on top of carbs. But the toy itself, oh my god. So we have the french fries. I guess this is a brownie and the corn. It is so cute. Wait, I didn't have this one. This is mini corn dogs. I think the one I had was actually chicken nuggets and they actually moved. I kept saying actually, 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 actually. And they moved on the inside. I love it. It is super cute. Oh, and a Klondike. Trust me, I will do the live stream at some point. What I remember from these Klondike miniatures is that the colors were slightly off. Yes, and that's exactly what I remember. I still love the little bites and the texture on the inside. But as much as we get a more neutral, maybe slightly reddish, this is a little too reddish in terms of the brown. Of the brown. Englishing. Oh no, no English! Come back, come back, come back, come back. You're gonna spit into my mouth, don't run away. And in the back there's a bit of a word search. I love this box so much. this one so much and we do get the cinnamon toast i love french toast probably one of my favorite breakfast desserts what's your favorite breakfast dessert and the details on the box are really cute this is a family pack of 20. we have a cute little advertisement in the back and the side is pretty much the same and oh <laughs> that's what i wanted oh my god look at them so we get oh oh it's quite a few stacks didn't expect that but look at that they come in a foursome a pack of four and they're absolutely adorable i love the fact that each one of them has a different facial expression does this one have one tooth I think it does. Even though they could have done a better job at the shading, I think the idea is cute, but it's lacking a little bit of fun. So as much as I wanted it, it could have been better. Scribblers, I'm almost sure I did get this one in the previous unboxing. And here it is. I've actually never had this specific brand before, so if you did, let me know how it's like. One eternity later. Oh. 
Choco Mint again. We don't need it. <laughs> and corn dogs. I've already unboxed that one. I know it's a mess over there, but it's always a mess when I'm crafting. So look, look, look at me. Let's try a trick shot. I know it's not very far, but level one. We already got this one. And this next one is Klondike Crunch. I'm so excited to try Klondike. I think this one had like little peanutty little bumps. And yes, it did. Very cute. Still not crazy about the face. And the color is still slightly off. Why am I saying cute then? I don't know. We're on to level two. This is gonna be absolutely terrible. I don't even do this. Not even close. Maybe this way. Uh. Oh, no. So apparently I'm being made fun of because it's very easy. So Pat's gonna give it a try. Uh, three tries? Yeah. <laughs> you're not even going far. Oh, that's cheating, you're looking behind. <laughs> Take two. All right. Close. Mm, close. Oh, last chance. Last chance. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> And in this one, we have both the peanut butter pie and firecracker, which we have both. We already got this one. And this is the peanut butter, which is not limited edition. Seriously? <laughs> Ooh, I see a choco pie. This could be a limited edition. What's that? So we have another chance at having a limited edition icicle type. Please. And the answer is no. Look at you. Straight into the windows of your soul. You are again a disappointment. And then this one is pretty new. Country fried chicken from Banquet Mega Bowls. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. If any of you have had this before, let me know in the comment section below. Is it yummy? Is it worth it? Battered white meat chicken. Looks good. And the answer is, oh, oh my God, that is absolutely adorable. Is that mac and cheese? No, it is with corn mozzarella cheese. What? All right, you Amerigreens have some interest. Oh, what's this fair? What, what is this? Some interesting flavors of foods and I want some. Spoon again is pretty bendy and the bowl is absolutely adorable. Yeah, you, you are one of my favorites. I love you. I love you so much. We already have this one and we already have that one. I have to admit I'm getting this this much annoyed at the fact that we are nearing the end of the box and we're getting so many doubles and not a single limited edition in a whole case, I might add. Really? <laughs> <So sorry. laughs> we already have. And I think this one's new. My hands are so wet. <laughs> this one is called Klondike Minis, a quick bite that's just right. 120 calories. And you can see here the box Pretty much similar. I like, I love this ad. Look at that. <laughs> why, why do these parents look so sad? Is there something I should know? This is putting me through a lot of emotions right now. Oh, I do have this one. I remember the stacks were really cute, but again, the, oh, oh, they come in different flavors. But yeah, the brown is so off. It's way paler than it should be over here. I'll give it a meh. You have no boundaries, huh? <laughs> and we have a chocolate chip cookie dough. I love cookie dough so much. I'm not quite sure why there's a frog on there and it just says certified. Does that mean it's 
frog approve? Do, do frogs enjoy this ice cream? Oh, at first I thought these looked like frog legs and I was like, oh, okay. Kind of looks like a dollop of whipped cream rather than ice cream, but I guess it's okay. It's a little different. They could have gone the easy route and just kind of recolored all the shapes they have, but that's why I really like the Shopkins Real Littles and that's because they really go through the effort of making each and every one very different. Uh. You saw nothing. This one we have. It's not pleasant, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one again we have but we have another choco pie which we have the potential of getting the limited edition. Please! And the moment of truth is... No! No! Wah! I'm not going to unbox the last three here on YouTube. I'm going to do that on TikTok. So if you're curious to know whether or not we're going to get any limited edition ones in the last three, make sure that you do follow me on TikTok at Salty Crafter. And here are all the mini Shopkins freezer edition. I really do think that this Shopkins Real Littles is way better than the mini brands just because they're a little more interactive. But if it were up to me, I would probably take the pantry over the freezer version. Just because I find there's a limit of how many frozen things and Klondike bars and Briar's ice creams that you could really have. Whereas pantry, oh, there's so many options. I am pretty disappointed that we get so many doubles in a whole case. Considering there's about 40 of them, and we pretty much unboxed 38 of them, and none were these ones. If you want to watch the previous mini brands unboxing, check up here, and if you want to watch something crafty, check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.